I've got two perfect, quick, easy recipes that you can throw together before trick or treat in no time, and the kids can even help. What about spooky pizzas? What kid doesn't like pizza? I know mine, both my kids love them. And these are actually, can be pretty healthy. So you can start with a pre-made uh, pizza crust, or you can use a tortilla. Um, you can use actually the half of an English muffin. You could do whole wheat English muffins. Mm -hmm. These sandwich thins are great. A bagel, Anne said, yes, all these things would work. So you're gonna take your little flats. In this case, we've got some whole wheat flats. And we have to thank Super Runs uh, for sponsoring the recipes today. You can pick up both today's recipes at Super Runs, a, a great family neighborhood grocery store in Pulaski. So then on top of our whatever you're using for the crust, half of a bagel, English muffin, whatever. We're gonna do some pizza sauce. And this is where the kids can kind of have fun with this, is you can put whatever kind of toppings you want, but you wanna put them underneath the cheese. So in this case, what kid doesn't like pepperoni? But you could certainly do some veggies. You could just keep a cheese. We're gonna keep these pretty simple. So far, nothing super crazy, but here's where the fun comes. We are going to do some string cheese, and we're going to lay it across the pizza to make it look really kind of crazy and fun and spooky, kind of like a mummy. So you can, you know, pull the string cheese. We find it a little easier just to use a knife. It's a little quicker that way, but if you want to get the kids in the kitchen, which is always fun, they can help pulling the string cheese. And you just want to take the cheese and kind of lay it so that it looks kind of like a mummy. Crisscross. Have some fun with it. And that's the fun part. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be kind of spooky and spine, kind of creepy. And then for the eyes, we're going to use two black olives. So those are going to be our eyes. I'll do one more of them. And well, um, I'm just see how cute they look. And Anne's got them all ready here. We've got two of them all made that we're going to pop in the oven. Super cute. So this is what they look like before they bake. And hey, I want to remind everybody of our next big night out that is coming up. And you're invited. We'd absolutely love to have you there. We're headed to a restaurant in Kakana called Little Chicago. Five course meal paired with a couple of wines and then a dessert drink. It is going to be great fun. Uh, let me go through the menu. First, it starts with your choice of their homemade tomato basil soup or their homemade seafood chowder, which they made on the show, and it was delicious. Second course is a strawberry salad with a strawberry poppy seed vinaigrette. Then there are two main courses, um, and you get both of them. You don't have to choose. So we're doing the whole surf and turf thing here. One of them is tenderloin diam, which is a beef tenderloin with a wonderful mushroom sauce over the top, served with seasoned baby red potatoes. Uh, the other uh, course, the surf part, is a potato crusted haddock dish, grilled asparagus, and a wonderful cream sauce over that fish. Finally, for dessert, chocolate cobbler served with the classic white dove ice cream cocktail. So it is going to be one wonderful night. I don't think we're going to leave there hungry. There's just no way. Might have to leave with a few doggy bags. The number to call, 920-462-4393 to reserve your spot. It's just $50 per person, and that includes tip and everything. So. Hope to see you there. It's going to be a blast, but um, this one's going to fill up pretty pretty quickly. So call today to reserve your spot. Okay, so I'm just going to finish making these pizzas. And these are a really quick bake. Um, you can even bake these. And more and more, I'm using my toaster oven if I'm just doing little things. So you can bake them in your toaster oven even. And like I said, you know, I always think it's really fun to get the kids in the kitchen to help. Um, I always say, if you don't teach them to cook, they'll never learn how. So, you know, getting them in there to make treats, which we're going to make some Halloween treats a little later on, or little spooky pizzas like this, really is a fun way to get them excited about cooking. So, a couple more black olives. We're going to pop these guys into the oven. And um, five minutes or so, that cheese melts, the crust gets a little uh, crispy, and they will be done. So, Anne, don't let me forget those. Okay, here's another fun, quickie recipe 
for the kiddos. I call it bones and blood. Don't worry, it's really nothing that creepy, but they're so fun. It's basically garlic um, uh, cheese breadsticks that you, you serve, that you shape them into the bones, which is really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And then the blood is marinara sauce for dipping. So again, this is a, you know, all kids are gonna like this. This is a really fun kid-friendly dish, but even a grown-up party, if you're having a grown-up party, really fun to make. So we start with one roll of refrigerated, a can of refrigerated breadsticks. And in our house, we always fight over who gets to open the can. I always like to give it a whack on the counter because it's way more fun, but the directions say to press a spoon on it, but that's not near as fun. Okay, so then you take the breadsticks and you separate them into breadsticks like this. These are gonna be best served warm out of the oven, but you can get them ready a little bit ahead of time and then just pop them right back into the fridge until they're ready to bake. They make the house smell really yummy. If you have like, you know, bread sticks at some of those uh, Italian restaurants or pizza restaurants, these are very similar to that. Okay, so um, it, I think there's about 12 is what we're gonna get out of these. So at this point, what you're gonna do, so you've got them all lined up on a couple of cookie sheets, is you're gonna take some, you could use a knife, but if you're getting the kids in the kitchen to help with this, and I think it's even easier to use some clean kitchen shears or just Clean the kids scissors and you can just use those so we're going to make a little cut into each end of the breadstick dough while I'm doing this I'm going to melt a little butter a couple tablespoons of butter all new shows all week this week by the way tomorrow we're doing breakfast show all new breakfast recipes so we've got some fun stuff planned so at this point you just want to take the dough and you just kind of fold it over like this and then tuck it under so it's nothing real it's not hard to do at all so fold it over fold it over and then tuck it under so it looks when it bakes up it's going to look like bone so fold it over fold it over and then tuck it under a little bit So it's nothing real complicated. And kids love playing with dough. So this is a fun one to get them into the kitchen. And if you're not getting kind of more of that bone look, just use a little scissors to make it more look more of like a bone. We're almost done. These are very forgiving. They're gonna taste great. And they're just, they bake up so cute. So, so adorable. Okay. Now, they'd be good as is, but we're gonna give them some flavor and make them taste even better. So we're gonna brush these guys with a little bit of melted butter, or you could do olive oil. And then we're going to really give them some great flavor with some garlic salt. Like I say, the house smells really good when these are baking. A little bit of dried Italian seasoning, or maybe you just have some dried oregano. Italian seasoning is just usually a blend of oregano, basil, dried parsley. Just a little sprinkle. And then some Parmesan cheese. These also are a real quick bake. They're done, keep an eye on them. 350, they're done in less than 10 minutes. You just want them to get golden and puff up. Um, and then you wanna serve these, if you can, um, warm with marinara sauce for dipping. So if you're having people over for a Halloween party, you can get them all prepped and ready and on your cookie sheet. And then it's really, um, if you, you can bake them right before everybody's ready to head out trick or treating or um, everybody's coming over for the party. Okay, let's take a look at their pizzas. Ooh, they're perfect, Ann. 
So the cheese is all melty. So here are our bones and blood decorated with a little spider. And then here are our spooky pieces. Both are absolutely adorable and so, so easy to do, aren't they? Come on, that's easy. I uh, also wanted to mention some really fun, if you're having an adult party, uh, we wanted to mention uh, a couple of fun things to serve. Um, this is for the adults. This is Door County. They came out with two Halloween wines. One of them is called Hollow Wine um, and really fun bottle. So if you're going to a Halloween party or you're having one, uh, this would be a fun thing to bring. And this is called a Witch's Brew. Um, so just some fun wines for Halloween that are available from the Door Peninsula Winery. Or you can find them actually at several local grocery stores as well. So coming up, we're just getting this Halloween party started. We're going to show you how to decorate for Halloween in fall, last minute decorating ideas. We're also going to show you how to make the cutest stuffed peppers and uh, for Halloween and a cheeseburger pie that looks like a jack-o'-lantern, plus some Halloween treats too. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.